everyone welcome to bethlehem matriculation higher secondary school online class i am vinila your english teacher now we are going for the supplement reader unit 1 after 20 years written by o henry what is the heading after 20 years written by o henry actually his o henry is a pen name of william sydney potter so the pen name is uh, they, uh, it is not the original name for the writings they will have another one sub name that is the uh, o henry he is uh, original name is william sydney potter okay he was born in the year 1862 in greensboro north carolina in the september 11 he was born and he has died in 1910 and he is an american short story writer and known for his su surprise endings uh, so his stories everything will be uh, there will be a surprise ending or uh, there will be a twist in the story so these all the things he is known for and moved to uh, new york in the year 1920 so he was uh, in his teen age he was with his uncle he was the uh, the farmist uh, his uncle was a farmer so he was uh, learning that and uh, uh, he became a uh, professionally farmist in his uncle's uh, shop itself so uh, his life uh, then he moved to uh, new york in the year 1920 so the uh, there is a, a relationship between the new york city with for him okay so now let me go for telling the story after 20 years in a short after telling that we'll move for reading the lesson okay so now here there is uh, after 20 years by hearing the heading itself what you are able to understand okay after 20 years means after and now your age is uh, uh, 17 so after 20 years means maybe 27 right uh, for 27 or 37 after 10 years 27 20 years means 37 right so at that time what you will be doing can you guess as yes, you will be working yeah good then you will be married yes okay then any other ah you will be waiting for meeting your friends right you will be missing your friends now what is in the school life your friendship will be very thick and you will be missing your friends and you will be eagerly waiting for meeting them right okay so here is the story about two friends that is a bob and jimmy wells the characters here three characters are the bob jimmy wells and the patrol man patrol man is a plain cloth man we will see later Okay, but this two is the main character Bob and Jimmy Wells. Okay, so before going to the story, let me go for reading the about the author. After finishing that, we'll come move to the story. Okay, take page number thirty. Take page number thirty. Go for about the author. Okay, let me tell you. I have said the points here, and I'll read and explain you again. Take page number thirty about the author. O Henry born on 1862 and died in 1910 is a popular american short story writer whose original name is william sydney potter already i told you his original name is william sydney potter and his pen name is o henry he is an american short story writer his works romanticized the life of ordinary people in new york city so when he has gone to the new york in the year 1920 so after that what ordinary people they moves in the new york city about that he has written his writings his stories are well known throughout the world so every his uh, o henry stories uh, one more story the gift of mother everything it was there in the world syllabus so like this it is a very famous stories all over the world they express the effect of coincidence of character and often have unexpected twist in the end so the co coincidence of the character two characters if he is giving the coincidence between them it will be it it has a little difference it will be that between the two characters that he will express clearly and at the end there will be a twist so that is the uh, main uh, main quality of the writer so the surprise ending or twist ending it will be that in the story okay His stories are also noted for the witticism and clever word, word play. So his uh, stories that will be a comic one, and also that will be a clever word play. So the words which he used, if everything, it will be a very good in manner. 
O. Henry's prolific writing period began in 1902 in New York City where he wrote 381 short stories. So I told you 1902 he came to, uh, uh, 1920 he came to New York but in uh, 1902 he started to write his writings everything. So when he started his writings everything he used to publish that in his local magazines. Uh, so that from that only he started to improve his uh, writing skills. So, so when he wrote 381 short stories in New York, he began to write 381 short stories in the year 1902, he started and he was coming up. He wrote one story a week for the New York World Sunday Magazine for over a year. So for a year, uh, all through that year fully he was writing for the magazine of the local magazine that is a, a, a Sunday magazine, every week once it will be published, that magazine in the New York. He started to write every week one one published he has given. Okay. O. Henry's short story after 20 years was first published in the Sunday edition of the New York World in 1905. So here after 20 years also this also this story also was published in the Sunday when New York published publications of, of Sunday that time he has published the after 20 years also. The story was included in the 1906 anthology the 4 million and it has since been republished in many short story collections. So his stories, everything, it was published in the anthology of 1906, that 4 million uh, uh, collections, it was published. And it was a short story collection, it was a book of short, short story collections, there also his stories after 20 years was published. From that collections only here it is given in your book. A few of his other popular short stories are The Gift of the Magi. Not, you don't want to read that as a Maggie. It is a Magi. M-A-G-I is a, called as a Magi. The Cop and the Anthem. The Ransom of the Red Chief. A Retried Reformation. And the Third Ingredient. So these are all his writings. These are all his uh, short stories. The popular short stories. Uh, what are the sh popular short stories? The Gift of the Magi. The Cop and the Anthem. The Ransom of Red Chief, A Retrieved Reformation and Third Ingredient. So this is all his works. Okay, now let me move on to the story. Okay, take page number 27. Warm up is given. Look into that. What do you expect your close friends to do for you? Beautify the petals with your thoughts. So you have your good friend, your close friend, best friend. So you have lot of opinion about your close friends, right? So what is your opinion? You have, they have to be very close. They have to uh, be very uh, cooperate with me. They have to very, be very comfort with me. They have to trust me. So like there's lot of points you may have, right? Uh, uh, your own opinion. So you can go for writing the petals. There is a flower given. The center it is written friends. So there is uh, other petals are there. So one petal it is written entertain my friend has to entertain me always like that so the other columns you can fill it up your own opinions you can write it down how you expect your friends okay go for writing them first one is entertain the second one if you know by yourself you can write otherwise you can write what i'm telling share help care comfort Advice, cooperate, trust. Let me tell you once again. If you know by yourself, you can write. Otherwise, you can write what I am telling. Once again, I will tell you. Entertain is given there already. Sham, help, care, advice, cooperate, trust, comfort. Have you written? Okay, good. Okay, now the second one is. Find out when the International Day of Friendship is celebrated. Do you know when Friendship Day is celebrated? Okay, recently you have celebrated. So when usually the Friendship Day will be celebrated? How you will come to know that Friendship Day is the day today? Usually the Friendship Day when it will come is the first Sunday of August. First Sunday of the month of August they will be celebrating. So this year 2020-20 what is the date of the Friendship Day? It is a 2nd August. Okay. So that day they will be celebrating. So International Friendship Day is celebrated on 
August 2nd. That is in 2020, August 2nd. Or you can write the first Sunday of month of August. Clear? Okay. How is that day celebrated? How you will be celebrating your friends, friendship day? By giving a long party, a get together. Okay. So write your own opinion how you will be celebrating. Maybe exchanging greetings or text message, forwarding messages or tying uh, uh, friendship bands. Any other? Giving gifts. Okay, very good. So this is all the thing or you will be exchanging with your friends. This is all the way you will be celebrating your friendship day. But whether it's the only one day you will be celebrating your friendship day? No. Every day you will be enjoying with your friends, right? Okay. So next third one. We have heard of the proverb, familiarity breeds content. Have you heard of this proverb, familiarity breeds content? What is it meaning? Do you know? Okay, let me tell you. That is a, there is a, uh, uh, Tamil says, palaga palaga palam pulikum, right? Okay, what it is means, uh, what you will be doing when you are having a good friendship, often if you are meeting together, you are not missing them, what will happen? Soon you will be having an enmity in between them, right? No. You, your friendship is true as you are willing. There should not be any enmity between your friends. I wish you, you have your good friends. So nothing will happen. Don't worry. Okay, let, that is the uh, uh, proverb, familiarity breeds content. Do you think that the passage of time strengthens friendship? Share your reason with your class. So now you can think about that proverb. Whether your friendship also has become like that. When you are being too close with your friends, whether they have fought with you. If it is, uh, right, some uh, points regarding that. Okay, now let me go for the story. This uh, O. Henry story is a little bit with the twist and how the people have changed over time uh, to keep their bonds of friendship intact. That is the story theme. And here the characters already I told you, Bob, Jimmy Wells and Patrolman. That is a Patrolman who is coming in here, plain clothes. Okay. So now here, um, here is a story entitled After 20 Years, which is about two best friends who had to part ways. They returned to keep an appointment they had made 20 years ago. Read to find out what happens when they meet again. So here there is a, a, after 20 years, there is a two best friends are there. They had a, a part of his, uh, their ways. So when they are uh, departing each other, what was doing? They had a plan. What is the plan? After 20 years, we have to meet each other. Okay, so you also have your plan with your friends after 10 years or after 5 years we can meet uh, wherever you go, whatever you become, you have to meet at this place. Uh, like that they have discussed each other. So after this, uh, whether they came and met at the day of uh, 20 years, whether they met or not, we will see in this story. Okay, so imagine that after 20 years, the two friends are going to meet or not. Okay, let me tell you about the story. Here there is a character to uh, uh, Bob and Jimmy Wells. Uh, when Bob was 18 years old, Jimmy was 20 years old. So they both were some yeah, good friends. Okay. So now they shared each other, they shared their opinions, everything. And they were some very thick best friends. Now Jimmy Well is, uh, was there in New York and Bob also was there in New York. Now they plan to move each other to the different places. But Jimmy Wells doesn't want to move to any other place. He wanted to settle in New York because he feels that New York is comfortable for him. But Bob is not willing to stay there. He wants to move to the West. Okay. So when he is trying to move to West, uh, he left Jimmy Wells in the same place in New York. And there is a uh, shop, there is a restaurant was there. Big Joe's Brady restaurant. Okay, Big Joe's Brady restaurant was the place where they have they was meeting at each other. So in this restaurant they was having their food everything. And after the food, uh, they had each other. They departed, departed each other, telling that wherever you go, whatever you do, whatever jobs you get, or however you are, after twenty years, what you have to do? You have to come to the same place in New York where the Big Joe's Brady restaurant that we have to come and meet each other. They have planned and uh, they went away. So now after planning and they went uh, whether after 20 years they will be coming and meeting each other. If you are there whether you will go and meet your friend after 20 years as they have said that uh, you have to come to this place. 
Yes, sure. As your friendship is very thin, you will be me going and meeting each other, right? Okay. Some persons, what you will do? It is none of my work. I don't know. I am rich. I am the educator. I have this busy, busy schedule. How can I go and meet her? After 20 years, whether he will be coming or not, I don't know. So, I don't want to move you will feel. So, that is a different kind, okay? So, here, there is a two friends. They are going to come and meet after 20 years or not. We are going to see. Okay, so the uh, uh, remaining part, if I say there will not be having any interest in the story. So this is the story, hints of the story. Let me read and tell you the remaining also. Okay, take your book, page number 27. The heading is After 20 Years, written by O. Henry. His, William, uh, his original name is William Sidney Potter. Once again, After 20 Years, O. Henry is his pen name. William Sidney Potter is his original name. Okay, now take the page number 27, take your textbook and go for reading the lesson. The policeman on the beach moved up, up the avenue impressively. The impressiveness was habitual and not for show. For spectators were few. The time was barely 10 o'clock at night but chill Chilly gestures of wind with a taste of rain them had well nigh depeopled the streets. The policeman on the beat, beat means that where the police will have some separate place for them. Up to this place it is my own uh, control they will be telling. So uh, there will be a border for the police to have to control the area. So that beat, he is moving on his own beat. Up the avenue, avenue means in the wide streets. So the police, what they will be doing, they will be checking all the places. Whether there is anything for that, they will be checking in their own places where that is allotted. So he is moving in his place, wide street is now. And he is moving impressively, very beautifully, how the people will be admiring the place like that, he is moving down. The impressiveness was habitual and not for show. So that place, how the beauty is everything. It is not for show. Not for show means it is not for the day. One day show, one day program, they will be decorating everything. Like that, it is not that. It is the habitual. It is a regular way, the place, how it seems. Up. And the spectators were few. So there is no persons to look into the place. There will be, if it is a show, there will be a lot of audience will be sitting. They will be watching each of the uh, programs. But here, there is no spectators. No people are watching that. The time was barely 10 o'clock. So that is barely means just 10 o'clock it became. And uh, the, how the climate is, is the very chilly gusts of wind. A chilly climate and the winds are blowing down. With the taste of rain, then had well night. Night means it is almost going to rain. We will be telling you, the rain is going to come, you will say like that. It is deep people the streets are. Reduce the population. Deep people means it is a... As there is going to rain or the wind is going to come as it is going to, uh, the rain is going to fall. There is no people. When there is the, the rain is going to fall, what you will do? You all will be rushing to your house, right? So like that, there is a less number of people are there. One or two people are there. So others, everything, they are not coming out of the house. Okay. So this is the uh, situation. You can imagine at night, 10 o'clock. How the street it is, a white street, the policeman is walking in his own beach and uh, the situation is like uh, going to be rain. So you can imagine at 10 o'clock how it will be. Trying those as he went, twirling his club with many intricate and artful moments, turning now and then to cast his watchful eye around the Pacific th uh, thoroughfare, through from the officer with his uh, Stalwart form and slight swagger made a fine picture of your guardian of the peace. So what he is doing, trying his doors as he went. As the policeman walked to check whether all the doors are shut. There is a lot of uh, shops are there. He wanted to check whether the doors, everything is shut or not. So what he is doing, he is uh, twirling the, uh, his club. Club means he will have one stick, no thuddy, he will be saying. So that stick, uh, what he is doing, he is just twisting that. He is rotating that and he is going for checking on the, with intricate or with all his complicated work or job, he is moving towards the uh, dozer. 
and turn it towards the cast and watchful eyes. So always the eyes of the police, how it will be, they will be looking into each and everything, whether all things are perfect or not. So with that uh, watching eye, he is checking through the plaza. Stratwart means here it is says about the how the family built, the policeman you have seen, how the, there will be a perfect fitness of the body. So like that he is uh, moving from, Stratwart form and a slight swagger. The way how confident he is walking. You might have seen the walk of the police. How confident walk they will have. Like that he is moving. Made a fine picture of your guardian of the peace. So that place. A chill climate and a dark night. The doors everything is shut. The policeman is walking. So this everything it is a fine picture. You can imagine how the picture it is. The vicinity, vicinity means the surrounding areas. So whenever I am telling the uh, word, you underline and write it, otherwise you will forget. So vicinity means the surrounding area was one that kept early hours. Now and then you might see the lights of a cigar store or of an all night uh, lunch counter. But the majority of the doors belong to business places that have long since been closed. So here on that you can see the cigar light, the light of the cigar, cigarette light. When they are uh, uh, using the, that light, here on that you can see like that. Uh, so in the night when the doors or the everything or the shops, everything closed, you can see the lights. No, Here and there one or two shops will be open and the lights you can see like that. It is there. And the uh, other things, everything, it is a lunch counter. So everything will be closed there. So only few of the uh, uh, shops are open. One or two shops open. Other thing, everything is related to the business. The time will be there. Uh, morning 8 to uh, night 10, it will be the time they schedule means They will be closing at the proper time. So here the shops, everything is closed at proper 10 o'clock. So there, there is no more people are there in the place. The next paragraph. When about midway of a certain block, the policeman suddenly slowed his walk. So he is moving in the midway, the center of the uh, place. The policeman, what he is doing? Suddenly he is uh, reducing his walk, slow down. So when the policeman will slow down his walk, if he is having any doubt on any person, he will be stopping them. Okay, so now there is a chance for them. So he is slowing down. In the doorway of a darkened hardware store, a man lay with an unlighted cigarette in his mouth. As the policeman walked up to him, the man spoke up quickly. So what he is doing, one uh, hardware store is there, hardware shop is there. The shop is this dark and there is no light in that place. So that one man, he is uh, leaned on that uh, door of the hardware show and he is having a, a cigar, cigarette in his mouth but it is not lit up. It is not lit up. Simply he is keeping his cigarette in his mouth. So like that one man is standing there. So now this policeman what he is doing, he is trying to go near to the man who is the a, a man is leaning in the hardware shop. So near to that man, he is uh, moving. But what the man is doing, the man is going to speak very quickly. So when you are standing in some place, if you are, if somebody is coming near to you, what you will do? If you are not done any wrong, you will be do, trying to tell something. I am not the person. I am not the wrong uh, wrongdoer. Something you will be telling to try and justify yourself. So like that. The man came near, the policeman came near to the man. What the man is doing? He started to speak quickly. So the next person is telling the next paragraph. It's alright officer, he said reassuringly. Reassuring means less doubtful. So very less doubtful uh, uh, he is telling. I am just waiting for your friend. The man who is standing near the uh, hardware shop, he is telling. I am just waiting for my friend. That is the reason I am standing here, nothing else. It is an appointment made 20 years ago. And so continuously he started to talk. He don't want to uh, stop his talk. Before that he is telling, I am waiting for uh, my friend. That is before 20 years ago, 20 years, what we had? We had an appointment with each other. What is that appointment? We both will be meeting after 20 years in the same place. That is the appointment they have, right? Okay. Sounds a little funny to you, doesn't it? So he is asking to the uh, policeman. So some person is going to meet after 20 years. It is uh, like a funny for you, right? Isn't like that? He is asking to the 
policeman. Well, I will explain if you would like to make certain it's IRS right. About that, long ago there used to be a restaurant where the store stands Big Joe's Bradley Restaurant. So underline the place. What is the place? Big Joe Bradley's Restaurant. Okay. Big Joe's Bradley's Restaurant. Okay. So he is selling to the policeman the man. Who is the man? The man is the Bob. Bob is the man. Where he is standing? Near to the hardware store. And he is telling to the policeman. What he is telling to the policeman? Before many years there was a restaurant. What restaurant? Big Joe's Brady restaurant. In that place what he is doing? He used to come and have their food. So that place in the hardware shop where it is now in that place. Previously what was that? Big Joe's Brady restaurant was that. So he is telling that in that place we had an appointment. What is the term? After 20 years we have to come and meet here the same place. Whether the police will believe him, believe uh, Bob what he is telling? Maybe, yeah, maybe Big Joe's Brady restaurant. If it was a real one, the policeman would think that it is the true. Okay. Until 5 years ago said the policeman it was torn down then. So the policeman is accepting yes. Until 5 years back, what was that? This Big Joe's Brady restaurant was there. Only 5 years before it was destroyed, become down. They have destroyed and they have built a new store. What is that hardware store they have built? And the man in the doorway struck a match and lit his cigar. Uh, the light showed a pale square jaw face with the keen eyes and a little white scar near his right eyebrow. His scarf pin was a large diamond oddly set. So the man who is standing in the doorway, what he is doing? He is litting up his cigar. Cigarette he is litting up. So by seeing that light up, what the other person could see? The face or the policeman could see the face of a bob. So how his face was means a square shape. That is a square jaw face. A square jaw face means usually the face when we are drawing in the picture we will draw like this right. Okay. But it is square jaw face means like this. Uh, it was. Uh, have you seen the people the face appearance with the, this shape or uh, not uh, U shape. Okay. So like that it is there. So that uh, appearance he could see. The policeman could see the appearance of the person. Square jaw face with keen eyes. Uh, Keen eyes and a little white scar near his right eyebrow. So there was a scar here. So in that he could see that and near to the eyebrow there was a scar. And his scarf pin was a large diamond. That there is a spin in his scar. So that how it was meant, oddly set with a diamond stones was there. So he could understand that he is a very well settled or rich. Okay. So like that he could understand the policeman could understand the appearance of a Born in the small cigarette light. Within that he could understand. Okay. So the next paragraph we will see in the next class. Thank you children.